It was a book that influenced you and I in your career. It was written in 1947. It was a book called Words to Live By. It was a compilation of, of articles by influential people. And, and Walt wrote an article in that book simply called Take a Chance. And you say in the book that that article was so perfectly Walt that it influenced the way you wrote for him in the years that followed. If you wouldn't mind, I actually printed out the article. And I would love for you to simply read this to me. I think it's really inspiring. Let me read But it's true what Brian said. I uh, found this book, uh, probably has 50 or 75 uh, celebrities, if you will. And the waltz was called Take a Chance. And it says, in, it was, he quoted a, a, a writer and, uh, in the lexicon of youth, there is no such word as fail, Edward Bouvard Lytton. And Walt wrote, I wonder how many times these sturdy old words have been used in graduation speeches each year. They take me back to my own high school days when I had my first pair of white flannel trousers and the world ahead held no heartbreak of fear. Certainly we all had this confidence at one time in our lives, though most of us lose it as we grow older. Perhaps because of my work, I've been lucky enough to retain a shred of this youthful quality. But sometimes as I look back at how tough things were, I wonder if I'd go through it again. I hope I would. When I was 21, I went broke for the first time. I slept on chair cushions in my studio in boats in Kansas City and ate cold beans out of a can. But I took another look at my dream and set out for Hollywood. Foolish? Not to a youngster. An older person might have had too much common sense to do it. Sometimes, I wonder if common sense isn't another way of saying fear, and fear too often spells failure. In the lexicon of youth, there's no such word as fail. Remember the story about the, the boy who wanted to march in the circus parade? When the show came to town, the bandmaster needed a trombonist, so the boy signed up. He hadn't marched a block before the fearful noises from his horn caused two old ladies to faint and a horse to run away. The bandmaster demanded, why didn't you tell me you couldn't play the trombone? And the boy said, how did I know? I never tried before. <laughs> many years later, I might have done just what that boy did. Now I'm a grandfather and have a great many gray hairs and what a lot of people call common sense. But if I'm no longer young in age, I hope I stay young enough in spirit never to fear failure, young enough still to take a chance and march in the parade. Wow. And that has been really good uh, influence my thinking about how to write for, for uh, Walt because uh, it has a spirit about it that uh, I think really captured uh, Walt's attitude about taking a chance.